How are we doing guys? I hope we're well, back with another video, and today we're gonna to do something uh, a little bit different, okay? So I am actually on the road today. Uh, it's very, very kind. Adidas have invited me to their headquarters to check out some of the next season stuff. Some of the stuff that's gonna be releasing in uh, the next couple of months as well. So uh, I'm gonna try and vlog the day. Uh, it's gonna be a little tricky. There's gonna be some things that I can and can't show you at this moment in time, but I'll try to bring you as much as I possibly can. So guys, Let's get on the road. So guys, we are here inside the shoe room and I am here to, uh, to talk you through alongside Dan, who is the, uh, the head of sports marketing. Uh, and we are gonna look today at the... Ali Power Forged. So, Ali Power Forged. Uh, Dan, if you'd like to kind of take us through the shoe. Yeah, sure. Um, so this is what you'll see Justin Rose wearing at the moment, along with Martin Keimer and potentially a few others. Um, it's an extension from the previous Adi Power range that you will have seen. Comes in both a, a spiked and a spikeless version, depending on your preference. And the whole story behind Adi Power Forged is we like to add support without adding weight. So you'll see the forging ribs down the side of the shoe here. That's kind of like a concertina effect of the leather that's then pressed in order to create stability. Okay. Um, but without adding any extra materials, it adds weight, um, yeah. keeps it a very lightweight shoe has half boost sole, um, so just in the, the heel section and the midfoot, and then goes through into the popular the bounce sole that is used in the wider Adidas group, um, in like the Alpha Bounce running shoe, and also the Adi Cross Bounce that you might have seen in stores yeah. uh, this year. Again, very, very popular shoe, good retail price, um, and a really, really popular addition to the Adidas line. And when were these launched? Uh, these were launched start of October. Um, okay. Again, you'll have seen Justin Rose wearing them. He had a special edition of the Ryder Cup. Okay. Um, they're a one of one pair. A one of one pair. A one of one pair. Made for him. Right. Um, and then, yeah, he's been wearing them ever since. He wore them at the British Masters along with Martin Keimer. And oh, um, a couple of the other guys have been asking about them due to good yeah. reviews from on tour. Um, so is, yeah. there, is there any reason why the boost can't go all the way through the sole? Is that... Um... Yeah, so when we start going, adding in full length boost, right. it just pushes the retail price up. Okay. Um, and with the Tour 360 line, where you have the two sections of boost, yeah. that obviously means that they're more of a premium yeah. retail. Yeah. If we then start adding in full length boost into what we have as more of a midline product, yeah. it's just gonna start pushing the price up for the consumer, okay. which we obviously don't want to do. So replacing that with um, with the, the bounce technology yeah. still gives a certain level of comfort that's um, that's higher than your low level price points. Yeah. Um, but yeah, without adding too much expense to the consumer. Lovely. What what is it about this shoe that Justin Rose kind of loves that you, that you that you know of? Yeah. So he absolutely loves the comfort. He loves the different colorways that we do. Yeah. Um, so he's quite a big. A few, uh, quite a few different colors. Yeah. So he's a big fan of the spikeless model. Um, he loves this all grey just because it matches yeah. with any outfit. Um, he's he's a big fan of the. We haven't got it in here, but there's. Um, in the spikeless version, there's like a white with a black at the back. Okay. Um, yeah. He really, really likes that. And also the blue version, he tends to wear a lot of navy trousers. Mm -hmm. um, so again, it just kind of fits in. And he says the comfort level um, is one of the favorite gold shoes he's ever worn. Wow. Um, yeah, he always used to previously wear one of our old Addy Cross that looks a little bit more like the yeah, Stan Smith yeah, yeah. trainer. Grip more on the And on that's the it, yeah. Yeah, yeah the okay. Grip more shoe. Um, so yeah, this was kind of like a new update for him. And uh, yeah, he wore the sport boots at the start of the year and then transitioned into this in October. And oh, just loves the comfort level. Great, so. very good. So uh, these are in stores now. In stores should now. be in most, most pro shops that yep. are Adidas stockists. Yeah, all so. Adidas stockists as well as your online retailers. Love um, it. But yeah, give them Brilliant. a try. Well, uh, guys, I am hoping to get a pair of these for myself. So uh, I will be uh, bringing you a full review of these when uh, when I managed to get my hands hands on a pair. So uh, just want to thank Dan for taking the time today and uh, showing me around Adidas. This has been uh, absolutely fantastic. Um, and yeah, thank you very much, guys. 
check out for these in your pro shops uh, pretty much now. Okay guys, so finished my morning with Adidas. Thank you so much to uh, to Dan, Tim and Gina for taking time out of their morning to show me around, show me the new stuff that's coming out next year. It's very, very much appreciated. A uh, very humbling experience to see that the guys there at Adidas, a brand that I love. I mean, I love all the Adidas trainers um, and, uh, and now going into the golf shoes and the clothing. Um, I'm a big fan of what they're doing and to see that those guys there are, are kind of taking note of, uh, of what I'm doing and and kind of liking what I'm doing is, uh, is very, very humbling indeed. So guys, if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you do enjoy uh, any of my content at all. I'll be bringing you more and more over the coming months. And uh, yeah, guys, I look forward to seeing you all very, very soon. Thank you very much again, Adidas. Everybody take care.